Father, we thank you. For you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You're the God who was with Daniel. You're the God who spoke to Abraham and promised a son. And that promise was fulfilled. You're the God who heals, who raises the dead. You're the God who delivers. You're the God who fought for the Israelites. And you continue fighting for us even to today. We know, oh God, and we are sure that your promises are sure concerning us. Concerning our families. Concerning our households. And for that this morning, we come to say thank you. We thank you for your faithful God. There's none who can compare to you. None can do what you can do for us. So we give you all the praise this morning. We exalt your name this morning, oh God. We lift you on high. We worship you this morning. We worship you, Abba Father. We exalt your name this morning. We bless your name. Oh, Father, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you for every life that is represented here today. It was not by our own strength that we are here today, but because of you. We thank you for bringing us here safely. We thank you for your protection, oh, oh God, against all accidents and incidents, oh God. We thank you for safety, for your divine protection. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us. We thank you for your mercy towards us and our household, towards the city of freedom family, oh God. Father, we thank you, oh God, for the worship team, oh God. And as they minister in song, oh God, lives will be transformed. We decree and declare that this week shall be a great week because you has already gone before us. We bless your name this morning. Father, we lift up even the minister before you who is bringing forth the word. We know, oh God, that that word is in the right time and in the right season. We thank you for the life of our apostle. We pray that you'll continue to bless him, oh God. Pastor Vashti, oh God, bless oh God. Every leader, bless, bless, bless them, oh God. They shall not know that word lack in the mighty name of Jesus because you are the provider and you provide all our needs, oh God. We pray for every member here this morning, every household, oh God. Those who are believing for their families who are not saved, oh God. We didn't save ourselves and if you can't do it for us, you can do it for them. And we thank you in advance because we know it is already done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's read our covenant scripture taken from Joshua 1, 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And our 2022 declaration scripture, taken from John 1, 16. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. Isn't he a great God? Remain standing with me as we welcome Pastor Vashti to lead us in a time of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just worship God this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. He's the only one who you could say worship. something and do it. We, we can have God. confidence in him this Lord, morning. He is well Lord. able. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? The name above every other name, what can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are it. Jesus. 
glory, all the glory to you, my love, my breath, the center of my life, everything, everything that I am today, dear Lord, it's all My love, my breath, the center of my life, and everything that I am today, dear Lord, it's all because of you, everything. All the glory, all the glory to you, my love, you my, love my, breath, my breath, the center of my life, and everything that I am today, dear Lord, is all because of you. this morning you are here 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 in this place and we worship and adore your Lord is saying to you this morning to cast all your cares upon him 
because he cares for you. There is nothing that our God cannot do this morning. There is no mountain that he cannot move. If he has said it, he will do it. Hallelujah. He is here in this place right now to minister unto you, to take that burden away, to give you his peace, to give you his peace this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are here.
Hallelujah. Father, we worship you this morning. There's none like you. There's none like you, O oh God. We bless your name this morning. We exalt you this morning. We exalt your name. Oh, we worship you this morning, O oh God. We exalt you. We bless your name. Your name is powerful. Oh, Jesus. have your seat this morning. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you to City of Freedom. Thank you for coming out. We know the weather is not that nice, but God is good, and he brought us here safely. Amen. Those who are worshiping with us for the first time, can you please stand so that we can acknowledge you? Anyone with us here for the first time? Hallelujah. We thank you for being here with us today. And we know that your life will never be the same again. Amen. Those who stood up. You'll meet with Sister Marissa at the end of service, right? Those who came for the first time, you can meet with Sister Marissa at the end of service. Now we're going to take some notes. So, you know the new announcements. We know the routine by now, right? <laughs> so join us every Monday at 9 p.m. via Facebook Live for a moment of truth. Every Wednesday... We have, at 6 p.m., we have our moment of truth also. Amen? Every Friday, we have revival and restoration at 9 p.m. via Zoom. Our annual Thanksgiving is coming up. That's next week, Saturday, and next week, Sunday. We have been making the announcement for a few Sundays, right? Did you invite anyone? Who invited someone? Let me see. So, after you leave service today, you'll call that person and encourage them to come out on, over the weekend. Call and follow up. Don't just send a WhatsApp message. You come in Saturday or you come in Sunday. No, call and encourage that person to come out. Amen? Invite your family and friends. Don't just come by yourself. Invite your family, invite your friends, invite your co-workers to come and experience what you will be experiencing on Saturday and Sunday. Amen? August 1st to the 7th, that's the 1st, which is Monday, to the Sunday, which is the 7th, we're going to have our fasting and prayer. You can do it 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., or those who can go for the 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., please do so. The theme for fasting and prayer is consecration for the new level. Amen? Consecration for the new level. We are breaking fast in-house here at 6 p.m. Every day for that, for that period of fasting and prayer, we'll be breaking fast in-house at what time? At what time? Right, not 6.01 or 6.15 or 6.30. You just come in to say amen. No, 6 p.m. sharp. Amen? Amen. All graduates, please meet with the dean, Sister Kathleen, immediately after service. She just wants to have a brief meeting with you all. Amen? Amen? All right. So... I know God has done great things for us. Just by being here is something that he did. Amen? So we're going to have 
two testimonies, two short testimonies, thanking God for what he has done in your life, what he has done for you. We know he did something, many things he did this past week even self. So we're going to have two testimonies. Anyone? Okay, Brother James. Good morning, everybody. I just want to testify that God leads me up this morning. He has done everything for me. I see people always and we. I just want to thank God. You understand? Because all of us have something to testify to. Every day, by waking up every morning, God has gifted that day. He has given you everything. So this morning, I just want to thank, testify that God is here, and he has done everything for me today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Good morning, saints. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Evidently, I'm not supposed to give this testimony, but it will happen by the grace of God. Uh, three weeks ago, I got up with a severe pain in my left arm. I could not bring my arm across, couldn't take it to the back. I immediately called a friend. She told me, go to the doctor because it's serious. If you cannot move your left arm, and I started to feel the left side as, as if it was uh, literally freezing up. So I say, okay, I'm heading to the emergency center as soon as I get an opportunity. But as I lay on the bed before I got up, I said no. As if you forgot, but then you remember. I say, but wait. But I know God. I know Jesus. He heals. So at first I, I said, all right, um, I'll go to it and get some painkillers and some muscle relaxant because it could be a muscle issue. But again, by the middle of the day, again, but you know God. You know Jesus. So right there I lay hands on myself. I put my hand on my elbow, upper arm. And that's when the pain increased. It doubled. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And I said, no, this is not going to happen. So for the next 24 hours, I committed that I will keep laying my hands on myself. And I did that. By the third morning, when I got up, I forgot I had the pain. My hand was moving as normal, left, right, up, across. And simply because I was reminded, I applied. Say, God, you heal me. You're the greatest healer all during the day. Each time the pain came, I just keep saying, God, you heal me. And right now, I can't remember when the, came, the pain came. So we give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Amen. Everything that we need in life, God has provided already, amen? And you have the, the authority to lay hands on yourself and command healing to take place, amen? God has given you that, that authority. Use it. So we thank God for those testimonies. Brother Ellis, we thank God for your life. And Brother James, we thank God for your life, amen? Can you please stand with me? As we welcome back our very own Apostle Kenneth. We thank God for you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a louder. Amen. Amen. Take your glory, King of kings. 
Take your glory, Lord of Lords. Take your glory, King of Kings. Yes, Lord. It belongs, it belongs to, to you alone. You alone. Take your glory, King. Him alone. The glory glory belongs to him alone. No one, no one can share the glory of God. No one can take his glory. No one can take his glory. His glory belongs to him. His glory belongs to him. Daddy, I give you glory. I give you all the honor. Because you alone deserve all my glory. glory belongs to you. We thank you for all we have is given to us by God. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for seeing another week. Thank you for opportunity to witness this great week. Thank you, oh God, for the month of January, February, month of March, April, May, and June. Thank you for bringing us to this half year of them. This year, Lord, we ask you who have begun this good work, we know you will finish it. Lord, as you promised us this year, that we all will end this year. It is your promise that this year will never end us. Daddy, we thank you for that word. Lord, we hold you by your word. We depend on thy word. Because there is no failure in, your, in you. Daddy, this morning, please, minister to your people. This morning, please, touch someone. Break stone in heart. Change every habit. Let failure be success. Let emptiness be filled up. Let every man live here according to your promises. That they may lay hand on that which you have said. Holy Ghost, our have come that you will manifest your power in the life of your children. Daddy, use me as just a vessel. To communicate to every situation. To rebuke every situation. To solve every problem. Thank you, Abba Father. Because I know it is done. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. And let everybody shout. Amen. You may comfortably have your seat and put your hands together for Jesus. And also put your hands together for yourself. Amen. I miss every one of you for six weeks. I mean, not seeing some faces that harass me always, yeah? And some faces that normally harass them. I miss my class. I miss all my leaders. Thank God for my wife. And uh, Deacon, push the mantle to take care of the church when I am not here, fell upon them. And I thank God for that grace. Because it is not always easy to lead people. The hardest thing to lead in this life is a human being. But I thank God that, uh, you know, sometimes I tell them, I say, if you do a mess, make sure before I come back, you fix the mess. <laughs> Don't do no mess for me to come and fix it. It's a simple thing. When you mess up, make sure you clean it before I come back. You don't want me to come and clean it. 
And I thank God there is no mess. If there was any mess, you will hear my mouth. But I thank God for every one of you. And I thank God for all the faithful, all the faithful commas, weekly activities, Sunday activities. Thank you so much. You know, sometimes there are people when pastor is not there, they don't normally come. But I can blame them. And also sometimes I blame them. Number one, they may love the way pastor preach. But I want to let you know that God can use everyone to communicate. What God can use me to do in your life, God can also use someone to do something greater also in your life. So please, next time, when I am not here, always make sure you are in church. Because I'm growing a long leg. You may not be seeing me always. Are you not saying amen? If you don't say amen, you might be a witch. Which means you don't want me to move forward. Eh? <laughs> Amen. Our ninth year of God faithfulness is fast approaching. I want you to be committed to that. Nine years of hard labor. Nine years of pain. Nine years of joy. Nine years of jubilation. I want you to be happy. Nine years of living. You are not dead. A lot of people lost their job. You have your job. So there is a reason to bless him. Amen. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. God bless you. This morning, briefly, I want to teach on what I title, Power to Prevail Against the Impossible. Power to prevail against the impossible. And every child of God have received this power to prevail the impossible. The Bible says that with men, all things are what? With men, it is what? Impossible. So he can work out with men. So with men, it can work. But with God, all things are what? Do you have God? Hey, do you have God? So if you have God, which means somebody say it is possible. So the power to prevail against impossible have been deposited in you. You know, at this early morning, I wake up by hearing in my voice that the life God has given to us does not take failure. The life God has given to us doesn't take excuse. Because every man of excuse is a man full of failure. Every man that always excuse, his name is what? F9. Give him F9. No, not failure is, he's trying to respect him. Give him what? F9. That's the, the lowest level of what? Failure. When you say fail, hmm, it's a little upgrade. But when you discover a man full of excuses, everything he has excuse. He, you, the only grade he can give me is F9. So he went to the bottom of failure. That's where he's landing. And God all destiny, all the life we are living today does not take it, does not accept it. And not just only that, the life does not celebrate an emptiness. So we have to come out in the place of emptiness because life can never celebrate you. When you are empty, you have nothing to offer. Nobody wants to associate with a man that is empty. No company can promote you when you have empty brain. Unless you maybe you want to sleep with a manager to get it. Am I speaking to somebody? Time has come. You see this mouth. If I don't say the truth, it will be a problem. If I say the truth, it will be a problem. So the most thing I must do is to do what? Say the truth.
No man can promote you. People that use their legs to get promotion, when the right person enter, they will be demoted. Yeah. So life can never celebrate emptiness. Why do I use the word power to prevail against the impossible? And I want to bring it down to family, bring it down to life. We are even two years old child in this place can understand this message. When you are born in a family and your father owns this building, number one, by right, whether you are 20 in number, by right, you know you have a share. Two of us. You know, one day, even when they sell the building, a dollar must come to you. Without even your father telling you, I give you. Hey. Some people, even at the dead bed, we go, when their father is dead, put ink in his tomb. And for a dead man to sign <laughs> a will. Two of us. Why? Property. Why? You want to inherit something. Two of us. I want to establish something before I preach. Now, when your father wrote a will, and a will is being executed, and the lawyer is delaying it, you can beat a lot of the lawyer. You can't try that nonsense. After one month, you are entitled to come and read the will. If he said no, I will, I will knock out the teeth in your mouth. Why? You are delaying my possession. Three of us. That is the power you have. Somebody said the power. Somebody said the power. So the same thing to every child of God. But the problem we have that we are too lazy to fight for what belongs to us. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. Let us look at this word. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. Behold, I set the land before you. Go in, possess the land which the Lord have done what? Have sworn or swear unto your what? Father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Throw of us, throw of us, is the land not your land? So go and do what? <laughs> go and do what? Go and do what? Possess. Go and do what? Possess. I have given, I set the land before you. This land is your land. This destiny is your destiny. This good life is your life. This good life belongs to you. To succeed belongs to you. Everything I have promised to your father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is what I have for you. My promise is not just for only them, but for their seed after them. So what means it is from generation to what? To generation. And every child of God that is a seed of Abraham partake on the blessings of Abraham. Am I speaking to somebody now? So when the Lord spoke this word to Joshua, he took off. Sometimes your father will write a will. Hello, you will contest that will. How family will arise? How will he go give you that one in Port of Spain and give me the one in Guaya? Hello, am I speaking to somebody? <laughs> eh? It will come to the point whereby you will have to look for better lawyer. You know, better lawyer is better money. That is pack lawyers. Sorry. 
There is lawyers, you know, when you have them, you lose case. Uh, come on. Not, they are lawyers. They just put in suit. When you have them, you are a loser. Come on. Man, agada, agada. There are lawyers that even George is afraid of them. Am I not talking to somebody? Because when they come out and quote law, the judge himself will be looking for his book. That people for that. So it's not 1,500 lawyers. Not, not those ones that is in court, hanging up and down. Hey, you, are you looking for a lawyer? Are you looking for... No, 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 no. Hey, it is the one that even before you go to their office, you pay. So lawyer, get ready. When they get that kind of lawyer and you carry say, you carry paracetamol lawyer go there, you are a loser. So when they come with such a lawyer, what belongs to you, you may lose it. They go in, possess it. Go in and do what? Possess it. And I am here to tell you today. That you and I have the highest lawyer. And we have his father is the judge. Somebody not hearing me. <laughs> we have the highest lawyer. The devil cannot defeat him. Devil is a paracetamol lawyer to him. Devil is a quack lawyer to him. When Jesus appeared, devil shut up his mouth. When Jesus declared God honor. That is what belongs to you. So I have given. So you go and possess. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 10. 6. Verse 10. And it shall be. That when the Lord thy God. Shall have brought thee into that land which he has sworn unto that father Abraham and Isaac and Jacob to give thee, yeah, give thee great and godly city which thou bidest not. Your father's house, you didn't bid it for him, he bid it and tell you to inherit. So put me, the work, you didn't do it. Jesus, do it and tell it to inherit. Someone not hearing me. You didn't do no work. You didn't defeat devil. Any pastor that tell you defeat devil is a liar. You never defeat devil. You never conquer devil. Jesus conquer the devil and tell you, match, match him up. Jesus conquer him and tell you, you can climb on him now. He will give you cities which thou build at not. He will give you the things you never work for. The things that you have never worked for. But can I tell you something? That is a battle. Stop serving God like a magic. You know when I keep on saying play away, gamble, in church people get angry. When you keep on gambling, you gamble your life. Keep on play where you weigh in your life. Keep on casino, you casino your destiny. Keep on it. One day you will end up in a place where you will never come out. Where you will play your life and play your destiny. You will play what your children will inherit. This time and season, I am not for you to love me. If you don't love me, don't come. Because betting you without telling you the truth, I have God to answer, not you. There is a battle. Let me give you an assignment because I don't want to take much of your time. When you read the book of Joshua chapter 7, Joshua chapter 12, we read him from verse um, 7, Joshua chapter 12. From verse 7 to 24, you will see what the Bible says. I just want to read only verse 7 
And when you go home, take your time and do what? And read. That's an assignment. For many of you, you think uh, because uh, one miracle just happened, you think you are okay. You just get a small job. Let me tell you something. There is no money in this life that cannot disappear under one moon. So stop fooling yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. One problem you hit you, even with what you have, you'll be looking for who to borrow. One problem. Stop playing fool. Stop playing fool. And those are the kings of the countries which Joshua and the children of Israel did what? Smooth on this side, Jordan, on the west, from the Bangladesh. In the valley of the Lebanon, even unto the, the Mount Halak, and goes up to Sinai, which Joshua gave unto the tribe of Israel for a possession according to their word. When you took time to study that scripture, you will count 31 countries. Somebody said 31. For them to possess their possession, they defeated 31 countries. And yet, when Jesus has done everything easy for you, and you are still like fresh mushrooms. You know how fresh mushroom does behave? As soon as you touch it, the head they will fall. Behaving like fresh mushroom. When when he when sun shine on you, you will wither. Fresh mushroom. It takes a man to defeat that one king, Kabalaba, Kelobataka, that one generation to succeed. Lift up your right hand. The power you need to prevail. Over every circumstance in your life, come upon you now. I say, come upon you now. That one area, that one country, one that one country, one man. Was the land given to them? Yes. Was the land given to their father? Yes. But for them to inherit, get the possession, to divide it accordingly. Hey, Yaba. That one king need to be defeated. Somebody lift up your right hand. The same grace that was upon Joshua is the same grace you carry. Because Bible say that another spirit was found in them. And that is the spirit of Christ. And I decree and I declare by the power in the name of Jesus. Because you function and operate in that realm. In that spirit of Christ. I decree let that power come upon you now. I say come upon you now. I say come upon you now. Today, lift up those hands. God is restoring dignity to humanity. I said dignity to humanity. I said dignity to humanity. Thirty one countries to make sure you get rich. Jesus. I'll beat down those 31 countries for you. He tell you, just go. Just go. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Let's look at this. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. You know, let me tell you something. There are sins we need. So let people know. Don't expect me every day I come to church 
all I'm telling you, don't commit fornication. Don't go and sleep with a man. You must be stupid by waiting for me to be telling that every day by day. When I keep on saying it, that is what you'll be doing. Because that is all you hear from my mouth. Don't go and have sex. Don't go and have sex. Hello? You will be asking, what is in this sense? Pastor Steve, no, I don't want to go. You want to go and do it? Are you hearing me? You have grown to the place whereby, hello, you have content. Are you hearing me? If you want to go and do it, do it and go to hell. It's your business. <laughs> Not me go suffer it. If you want to go and do it, do it. When you get belly, we go celebrate your child. Bring the child that go dedicate that child. But I cannot give you money for feeding. No money for milk. You, are you hearing me? I'm not helping you for no babysitting. You have to do what to do it. You have to do it on your own. That's what people want in the church. You must grow to the place where you overgrow those things. Go. There's a child now. When you put pampas, he's going to say, Mama, Mama, Nina. Me, no, no, no. Why? The pampas is shooking that child. Let that sin begin to shook you where yeah, you will come out of that sin. Enough is enough. Like people sometimes. You will be better. This message you want to hear me. People sometimes. You will be begging them, forgive. Forgive. Pastor, eh, hello, if you don't want to forgive, die in that forgiveness and go to hell. Time have come for that. Who begging you to forgive? If Bible tell you to forgive, you don't want to forgive, that's your business. What is the weight of this water? Anybody can tell me? What is the weight of this water? Wait, the weight. Anybody can tell me? Eh? Anybody can tell me? Come. It's starting what? Stand up. Well, I, I don't know that's not my business now. <laughs> it's light, right? It's very light, right? I'll give you a punishment today. Stay right there. <laughs> Holy so. Time is coming. That weight. That which is not even heavy again will be heavy in her hand. And all it will be doing is to press her down. That is what unforgiveness does to you. And all you're waiting for is uh, to somebody to come and beat you. No, I'm not beating nobody now. Just give you the truth. You want to take it, don't want it, no problem. He said, behold, I give unto you what? To do what? Strength upon what? Serpent and what? Scorpion. And over the power of what? The, and nothing. Somebody say nothing. Shall by any word. Somebody say any mean. Say it again. Any mean. Somebody say any mean. Shall hurt you. And the question is this where did he give them this power? Many of us every day, oh God, give me power. God, give me power. You never know you have been given power already and you ask him power. Foolish prayer. Don't allow nobody to lead you into foolish prayer, misguided prayer. Give me verse 1. Of that Luke 10. I want you to see power. After these things, the Lord appointed other seventies also and sent them, sent them two by two before his play, he faced into every city and place where he he did what? He did what? He sent them. Whenever you are sent, 
you represent the sender. You didn't hear me. Whenever you are being sent, you represent the sender. The power the sender carry your car. Do, do you know? He never tell them here, I give you power. But because they obey. The reason why you are praying for power is because you are living in disobedient. Bible say, when they, they went, Follow me. Give me. I want you to see instruction. See what he told them. Therefore, he said unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are what? Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. That's what God is looking for. Go ye. Go your ways. Behold, I sent you. He sent you, sent you, sent you. Many of you, oh God, I, I'm waiting for God to, to tell me, speak to me, to go for evangelism. Foolish person you are, which God. Keep on waiting. You will even enter grave. You never hear God to tell you that. Go your way. This go carries power. This go is God power. When you obey, when you obey, go well, go your ways. Behold, I sent you forth. I sent you. When he sent you, he backs you. When he sent you, he gave you what he carries. That's who our God is. He never sent you empty handed. Next verse. Carry neither what? Many of you today think his post is what you need to serve God. Why you come to church? I don't have shoe. I don't have, you don't have shoe? That's why I didn't come to church. When you go into work, you don't have shoe. You have shoe. Many of you have shoe to go to work. And you're deceiving yourself. You don't have shoe to come to church. Who cares what you wear? Maybe you have intention. You want to come and be cut to working in church. <laughs> and marketing yourself. Maybe you want to be putting some brothers into, into heavy binding and casting. Who cares how you dress to church? If the sister gets angry how you dress, let him buy you a set. If you don't like what I wear, don't gossip me. Buy me a new one, I will take it. He said, I'm no scribe, no shoe, and no salute, no man, by the way. You know, no, you know, he didn't say when you go in, people create you, don't greet them more. Old talk. Distraction. And they obey. They obey. Tell me, a man that was going to what? Out to do something. No money, no purse, no shoe. Nothing, nothing. Can you give me verse 17? I want to show you something. Let me show you something. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. They return with sadness. They return complaining. Why are you returning from church complaining? Because all you go to church is for money. Greed. I am not the one to put you into greediness. All we come to church is to money, money, money. Can I tell you something? Let me tell you something. And hear this and hear this. If I, Apostle Kenneth, can give God money to bless me, I will tell you the truth. I will go and play carnival. What did I say? I cannot have a father. I will give a bribe for him to bless me.
instead of me to tell any man to give God money and God will multiply and do this. And let me tell you something. I will carry gun and become a robber. What do you do? Whatever you give is by what he bless you with. That is the reason why you don't need to rob yourself. God bless you. Give according to as he bless you. Not come and stand in this line. One thousand and God will multiply you. Robber. <laughs> See, I don't care. Get angry with me. Because that, you know, some, we want quick magic. As you do. Because you do it and something happens does not mean it's your money that work it in. Huh? How many of you here have ever given your father bribe to bless you? Tell me, tell me. Tell me. Bribe. Anybody? Anybody? So why do you think that God and your father is different? Somebody, huh? Can I pay my time? Yes. Why? He blessed me. He, from what he blessed me, I give. From what he did what? He have, listen, he have already forced to bless you for you to, if you don't bless you, don't give. Because you cannot give. How can pastor tell you to go to bank and borrow money to come and give? Turn the fire that pastor. Eh? Come and touch me. W when you touch me with money, you get my power. Bruno, it is mammon power you want to get. Relax. In the next five years, the things will change in Christianity. Because there is a conviction that will come when truth will begin to come out. I give. I honor God with what he has blessed me with. You don't struggle with it. Nobody struggles with it. It's not a struggle. If God has given to you, honor him cannot be ever be a struggle. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I have um, a lady in the state, and always, anytime she has a problem, oh God, Apostle, pray, pray that God will bless me, and I will give my tithe. And she keeps on saying it oh, every time, every time, every time. She called me this week. So I said, shut up your mouth. Come on, shut up. Push, God bless you, you will give. I said, why are you deceiving yourself? As they think that God is interested that when you promising him. Look at you, can promise God to something. I said, shut up and let us pray that God will have mercy on you. Period. I'm no more into that game. I'm not deceiving nobody again. So the seventh return. Now look at the people that return. With joy. With what? With what? Now, these people that they talk with joy, did they go out with anything? Let us begin to ask ourselves questions. They didn't go out with no shoes, no money, no purse, nothing. But they came out with what? Joy. A man that carry power is a man of joy. When you carry power, your supply will be needed, will be met. Your need will be supplied. Because even people who doesn't love you will bless you. Even your enemy will seek to promote you when power. Listen, when you carry power, people you never even imagine in life, they will come to you. They return rejoicing. Lord, today was something else. Did you know, the best thing that happened to a child of God is to do the will of God. It's to do the work of his father. Amen. Amen. So let us look at it. And many of you, let me tell you this. <laughs> Three days ago, a lady called me and we was talking and talking and talking. 
She just wants to put that God is on her side and God loves her. He asked me, Is Apostle, have you seen somebody after planning a trip, planning a holiday, bus ticket, everything, and the person's passport have expired? <laughs> Somebody say amen. <clears throat> you know what he said me? He said, me, I thank God. It's like God is saving me. I said, Thunder. Blaster that mouth. Never you call God there. It is lack of preparation. <laughs> it is lack of what? Prepa- you overslept your destiny. So are you telling me that after one month, your driving license expired? You're telling me, God, did you want you to drive? God is saying, oh, God. I said, auntie, you are lazy. Your brain wasn't working well. Don't, uh, please don't mention God. Why? Because God cannot do what you will do. All God can do is what you cannot do. Anything you can do, God cannot do it. Stop calling God. He gave you, listen, if God wants to disturb himself too much, he will never give you brain to think. <laughs> and if Holy Ghost wants to be a talkative, he will not inspire people to write Bible. Because many of you, Holy Ghost will say, but it's not in the Bible. So, but my looking at this, I ask myself, how do I prevail against the impossible? When you read the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32b, Daniel 11, chapter 32b, and it says, Daniel 11, 32b. Let me start from there. And it says, but the people that do know their God, Number one, they shall be what? Somebody says strong. Nobody does exploit without being strong. And nobody can be strong without knowledge. The people that do know their God, knowledge. In knowledge, that is preparation. Knowledge takes you to the place God wants you to be. You must know who this God is. You must know his ability. You must know his capability. You must know his availability. You must know who God is. But the people that do know their God, who is your God? Is your God a failure? Is really your God. And when I look at something here, I say, to know God, you start from knowledge. And knowledge is preparation. Second Chronicles chapter 27, verse 6. I love this scripture. This scripture is one of the scriptures that helped me when I, I gave my life to Christ. It makes me strong. Stand strong. This scripture, I never forget this scripture. As I was preparing this message, the scripture hit me again. And this is the reason why a lot of us fell halfway. This is the reason why a lot of us, 2 Chronicles chapter 27, verse 6. That's the reason why a lot of us could not move forward. So, Jatam became what? Who among us here want to be mighty? If you know you want to be mighty, lift up your hands. He became mighty because he did what? He did what? He prepared his way before the Lord his God. Go back to the room of preparation. Stop jumping it. Tell your neighbor, stop jumping it. Even Jesus could not jump it. Jesus went to preparation. 40 days and 40 nights. Three of us. After 40 days, did you know there is two levels of preparation that Jesus did in the Bible that was great? 
in the time of announcement, after the baptism, he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. After that, Jesus went into fasting and prayer for 40 days and 40 nights. He went for preparation for manifestation. Because as soon as he came out of that world, that fasting and prayer, the devil came to tempt him. And another time, something like that was said, when, when Jesus took his disciples to the mountain, where Moses and Elijah appeared, and the cloud covered them, and said unto them, this is my beloved son, in whom I am what? Well, please, do what? Hear him. And instantly after that, the crucifixion came. Preparation. 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 In preparation, you don't give up. In preparation is when you hear God clearly. In preparation is when you understand where you are going. He became mighty because of what? Preparation. No man succeeds in life without preparation. So please, I urge every one of us, we are in the days of preparation. Remember, we are going into the 10th year of our, of our ministry. And as the Lord has spoken, he said that this 10th year is going to be a year of power and order. It's going to be what? A year of what? Power. And listen, if you ever walk in order, power is like bread. If you ever walk in order, power is like baking bread. You will manifest it. That is the reason why there must be a consecration for the next level. As our beloved sister made an announcement, get yourself ready. Start washing what you eat now. Not that time. Pastor, eh, I can drink tea. Pastor, I can drink tea in the morning around tea. If you drink tea in the morning around tea, you're not fasting again. Already you don't eat. You don't do one. You don't over. Anybody who drink tea in the morning, before you eat again, is around tape. Trouble. Huh? This is breakfast now. You don't eat already. Uh, but you make it easy. Six to, two, six to two and also six to six. We gather here. Please, it's very important. Let us prepare our way. Let us prepare our way to be mighty. Because the plan and the purpose of God for every child of God is to be mighty. I see you ending up being mighty in Jesus' name. Number two. Shall be strong. Shall be what? Strong. They that have knowledge is people that are strong. Show me a man that is strong and I will show you a man that is consistent. Hey, this is a strong man because he's consistent. He does not accept failure. Even when he fails, he doesn't see it as a failure. He sees it as a training ground. He didn't hear me. <laughs> Hello? He sees it as what? A training ground. When he fails, he never sees it as a failure. He sees it as what? A training ground. Many every one of you today drive automobile, drive a car. Did you know that the person that invented car? Tried 999 times. It's 1,000 times that he got the car working very well. And today you're comfortably driving it. You don't want to do anything for other people. <laughs> eh? This man tried 999 times. He never give up. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, anything that will cause me to give up, today I bury you. In the name of Jesus. There is no room to give up. I want to manifest. You can manifest without being strong. They that know their God. Number one, they shall be strong. Being strong, you must be consistent. Sister, hello, stop giving up. We give up so easily. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Galatians 
Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that you are what? You are what? You are what? If you don't labor, how can you be get a reward? If you never labor, how can the reward come? The reward can only come when a man labor. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Let us not be what? Weary. In what? Well doing. For all. Tell your neighbor there is a due season. Some, tell your neighbor there is a due season. What you do now determines what you reap in your due season. There is a due season. In everything you are doing, there is a due season. And everything you do, what you sow, is what you reap. You can write these scriptures down because I, I want to move on. Luke chapter 16, verse 13. Matthew 5, 37. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 20. You can write it down. In being consistent, it's very important. You know, we're looking at the Christians we have today. The Christians we have today is the Christians that all they want, please everybody watch me, all they want is just come to this wall and take a hammer. And they want the wall to fall. That's the Christians we have today. They do what? <clears throat> they come and they take a hammer, Monday hammer, you know Monday hammer, mm, with all their force. Mm, you hear? Boom. They're waiting. When it didn't fall, they will say it's not working. It's not doing what? It's not working. But can I tell you something? It is consistently as you are hitting the wall that the wall will start being breaking from the inside. You know how I learned it when we were expanding this place. I saw Brother Kevin and Co. All the great men, they will carry this. Uh, mon that Monday hammer, I couldn't carry it like three times. Well, I, I hit one. My uh, shoulder started hurting me. I, I pretend that a pastor sometimes, and I leave them. I will go the other side. You understand? You know what you can do. You will wash them. They will boom. Nothing will happen. Boom. Nothing will happen. You will be asking yourself, what is men, men doing? Before seven times, you'll be seeing crack. Before you know it's happening, one side started falling out. Consistent. That is what the church lack. If they say pray until something happens, you pray for one work and nothing happens, you say it doesn't work again. They say fast until something. Me? Oh God. Pastor, I don't fast, 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 fast. Nothing happened. No. Can I tell you something? Please. If it's what God says you do, do what? Do what? Do it. Do your part. The book of Luke chapter 18, according to that Bible, if that woman leave the king, when the king kept silent on her, that woman will not get revenge. If the same woman that was asking Jesus to come and heal and Jesus was telling her, he said, even the bread that fall on the ground, you see now, the woman, he said, even, even that bread, give me that one. Stop giving up. Can I tell you something? Everybody, put your hand in your ear. Stop putting money first before God. You will backslide. You will backslide. Stop putting your bills before God. You backslide. Be careful how you spend. You backslide. It's not everything you need. If you don't have a car, sister, legate this. Legate this for now. What did I call it? 
people driving their own Mercedes. You do what? Legged this for now. I beg you. Do what? Legged this. Don't, don't go for Mercedes. Mercedes come with a better price, big price. The day your focus is on your bill and not on your God, you backslide. Because you always look for something to meet up. Did you know something that touched me? When I read my Bible, Look at this. No servant can serve two masters. For neither he will do what? Hate one and love another. Or else he will do what? Hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God. Do you know that mammon is stronger than devil? You didn't hear me. Bible didn't say you should not serve God and devil. He said mammon. Mammon is stronger than devil. When you love money, <laughs> you didn't hear me. Your love for money is what invites devil. He didn't hear. He didn't get that. Your love for money is what invites devil. Bible call it mammon. Money. When you love money, Bible say that the love of money are the root of what? All evil. You see it. When you love money, you open door for devil to come. Love God. Love God. When I look at men and women full of excuses, and they will be, uh, listen, don't say Apostle Kenneth doesn't know. We all does not have the same strength. Who told you? But we have the same strength to talk. We have the same strength for you to talk at the back, but you think you don't have You have it. It's laziness keeping you. Don't tell me that. I work 48 hours. I will come and preach all night for 12 hours. Go back to security again. Come to. Forget about that. Eh? And I was still with my problem in my leg. And you telling me that you that doesn't even have no pain in your leg. And you're giving excuse. Huh? Your own, you're sitting in the table. Right for eight hours. Go back home. And you know, when you sit in the table, you make a call. Oh. Three of us, answer me now. All the people working in government office. You're sitting in the table, you see making call. Oh, uh, I understand. You, what happened there? You are looking for what happened there? What happened and what didn't happen? You are in the office, so, so you didn't do business enjoying yourself, but me. Run open gate, close gate, write diary, do this, do this, do this. In the night, I am up praying. And I was still living. It is a sacrifice that you pay. It means your manifestation. <laughs> Sacrifice. You know, sometimes we want miracle, we want miracle, we want miracle. I, I, was telling, I was telling something last night or two nights ago. Do not stop in burning bush experience. And every one of us here have ever, every one of us here have burning bush experience. My dear, do you have burning bush experience? You? You, you, stand up. Stand up. You, I'm talking to you. No. My dear friend, stand up. Do you have burning bush experience? Have you, burning bush experience. Have you ever had it? You have it already. You was at the point of death. God saved you. Three of us. That is burning. You know, you know what God was there? God was looking for your attention. But where is the attention? How many of you have ever found yourself in a problem and that problem let us solve? That is burning bush experience. That God was looking for your attention to communicate something to you. 
that is judge God seeking for your attention. Why? He did it so that he can get your attention to tell you something. Moses was on his way doing whatever he's doing. The fire began to appear, began to burn in the bush. But the bush was not consumed. But everywhere was on fire. He said, hey, what's going on in here? The Bible says he moved very close to the tree. Inside there, he had a voice. Everyone here, God is still calling you for what he has called you to do. So be strong. Number three, boldness. Boldness. Stop confronting devil as if devil have power more than you. Stop confronting problem as if problem is greater than you. When you read the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 29, there was a threat. There was a problem in the land. All the people was crying, God, please. We don't care about their threat. We don't care about all they're saying. All we ask is to do what? Do what? Grant us what? Somebody say boldness. Somebody say boldness. To do what? To speak that. That's all I want. Ah, God, no money. Nothing. I don't want to hide. When boldness come upon you, hiding disappear. When boldness come upon you, fear disappear. Eh, my landlord is going to quit me today. Your fear is what bringing your landlord. You can pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, let his car spoil so that he will not reach. In Jesus' name. Hey, God knows you don't have that money. You no, know, be say when you have money, you hide it. No. <laughs> Lord, in the name of Jesus, you know sincerely I don't have this money. And I don't know what this man coming today. Lord, create an obstacle. Let that be a hindrance for you not to come. In Jesus' name, you can sleep. But not when you pray that prayer, you stay thinking of the man coming. When you pray it, remove your mind that he's not coming. And somebody will say, Apostle, you don't know now. I was a master of it. I've experienced something like that. <laughs> I, uh, I give my landlord more than almost two months. Every Sunday, every Sunday. Next week, Sunday. I said, next week, Sunday, I will give you money. And I'm talking with boldness. Next week, Sunday, I will give you money. The man is telling me this month. I said, next week, Sunday, I will give you money. The next Sunday, before you come, I said, God, when this man will come, as soon as he hear next week, Sunday, he will go for next week, Sunday. The last day this man make up his mind to quit me was the day I paid six months. <laughs> was the day I did what? I paid six and he was watching me. I said, but I told you, come this Sunday. <laughs> what did I tell him? My Sunday never finished until the day I paid. I told you, come this Sunday. And if you see how I was bragging, eh? But I told you to come this Sunday. That would be money. <laughs> I serve a living God. And the same God still stands to defend his people. So I don't know what you are going through. God is alive. I say God is alive. I say God is alive. I say God is alive. Boldness. Number four. As I'm trying to rush. Number four is faith. A Christian have no any other life to live except by faith. Any day you are out of faith, you are out of equation. Or, let me use this word. You are out of what? Equilibrium, right? Right. You are doing so. Any day you are out of faith, you are in trouble. Because the only thing, the life God has been giving to you as a child of God is to continuously, constantly, constantly to do what? To live by faith. Even when it looks as if there is no way, faith makes a way. Galatians chapter, Galatians chapter 3 verse 11. I love this. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11. I love this. This scripture, good. 
but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. But look at this. Let's finish it. One, two, three, go. It is what? It is what? It is what? What is an evidence? A proof that is presented. Somebody knows. What is an evidence? Is a proof being what? Presented. In the court, if there is no evidence, there is a problem. So every believer have an evidence. You have an evidence. He said, it is evidence for the just shall live by faith. Please, don't allow your faith to seek. Don't allow your faith to fall by the wayside. Don't say, Pastor, I have faith today. Um, but um, you're in trouble. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. Let us look at this. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. We're talking about live by faith. Give me from verse 28. Hebrews 10. Oh. Hebrews 10, give me from verse 28. Oh, give me 38, sorry. Hebrews 10, 38. Good. What did he say? One, two, three, go. Is it God's problem now or your own problem? No, 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 no. They're just here. Is God now the one failing or you failing? Now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. That's the word of God. Hey, pastor, you know I have faith yesterday. But today, that's your business. <laughs> it is now your business. It is now your business. The scripture cannot be broken. And one thing I know, that the scripture cannot mean something else that it did not mean the day it was spoken. Whatever he meant for today is what is meant tomorrow. Number five, prayer. The season we are is the season to pray, not a season to complain. Men are ought to pray and not to faint. What does it mean, faint? Faint means getting weary. Faint means giving up. Don't give up. When it seems hopeless to go on, it is wise to pray. When you lack strength for the battle, it is wise to do what? To pray. Second Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11. 11a. Second Chronicles chapter 14, 11a. He says, And I shall cry unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many, oh my God, or with them that have no power. Oh, Lord, our God, for we rest on thee. For we do what? Rest on thee. I'm going to stop here because I'm going to use another scripture. I'm going to use that for another scripture. So time to cry. There, there are no set of people that God will answer. God will answer everyone that cries. Yeah. Uh, because it's apostle, when you pray, God, uh, me, hello, it's a lie. Are you hearing me? What did I say? It's a lie. Pray. 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 You know, sometimes when you're looking at, uh, apostle doesn't know what I'm going through now. <laughs> hey, if we, if we will interchange, I will be gladly take yours. You didn't hear me. <laughs> If you will, if God will permit for we to interchange, I will gladly do what? 
take yours and give you my own. If you are complaining, I will gladly tell you, let's pray. God, please transfer her own on me and they carry all my load. <laughs> Let me tell you something. After seven days, if they didn't get you by the road with, in, with the rope on your neck, you know I'm not lying. We all pass through one or the other. But listen, cry. There is a God that help where that many that is a God that help people that has no power. You may have no power, you may have no one, you may have no strength. That God is there for you. He will fight for you. Cry out. Very important. Number six. Use the name. Use the name. The Bible said that his name has been lifted up above every other name. Can I tell you something? Anything that has a name in this world, obey that name. So use that name. Look at what he said here. He said here, and in thy name, we go against the multitude. You don't go against them in your name. You don't go against them by what you know. You don't go against them by your crying. No, you go against them by his name. And to crown it all, number seven, remember how we have helped you before. This is where the church failed. Because nobody here will ever stand here to say God have never done anything for him before. Is there anyone like that? No. Have God done something for you before? Eh? Many times, right? Many times, right? There is a song I featured sing the other day. He will do it again. Eh? Can, can you just give me a, just give me a little a little bit of that song? Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. If he have done it before, he will do what? He will do it again. Let me show you a man. That just remember what God did for him and he got victory. Only remembering what God did. Fire came into his bones. He chucked. I was reading the scripture. I discovered that even Goliath challenged, tormented the people of Israel for 40 years. Every year, Goliath will come out. Is there anyone in this land that can challenge me? Everybody will be running. Every day, this man harassing them. Harassing them. Harass for 40 years. But one day, arise a man. I don't know what I've been harassing you in your family. I don't know what I've been harassing you in your destiny. Today, arise you. Today, arise you. Today, arise you. 40 years of harassing the people of Israel. One day. A man remembered, if God who helped me to kill the bear, Kabbalah Gaba, if God who helped me to kill the lion, if he can do that, this man, I am bringing him down. God raised him. But do you know one thing? That's why I say confession. Even when his brother was telling me, you troublemaker, you have come again, come on, go back. He didn't listen. I want you to say, neighbor, they say, don't touch. Oh, yeah, give Abel. Give your neighbor Abel, Abel like this. Say, neighbor, it's not everything you listen to. <laughs> some good thing, some thing that look like an advice is a distraction. You don't know that? There are some things that sound good. They are what? Distraction. You didn't hear me. There are some things that sound good for your protection or for your own good. They are what? His brother told him, I know you. You are a troublemaker. Sometimes let people see you as a stubborn person when you are doing things for God. Stop allowing people to always call you a good person. Listen, they will call you a good person today. Tomorrow you'll be the bad person. So it's more better you behave to be a good person forever. 
David says, for Samuel chapter 17, 36 and 37, and then I'm going to close there. We believe God for next week. Well, okay, Wednesday. Believe God for Wednesday and see what God is going to do Wednesday. The servant slay both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be, come on, what did I say? Shall be, if God can help me kill a lion, if God can heal you. Did you know one thing that always gives me courage? If God can save me, there is nothing God can do for me. Look at you. Think he was a, you think he was a former sinner? I was a graduate. I was a chronic. You know what? The, I have a certificate in sin. I don't know about you. I have what? Certificate in sin. I graduated. PhD. Uh, masters, Mark Marcus, help me, thank you. <laughs> and after all those masters, he saved me. Tell me what again he can do for me. Come on. Tell me what he can do. All I need to do is just to keep on looking up to him. When I don't have, when my strength fails, when you look as I can't make it, Bible say, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my soul. Let me tell you this, and I will close. There was a man called Zacchaeus. Very sh Bible called him small. Bible didn't call him dwarf. So he was smaller. And a dwarf is big. dwarf is like me where he is. <laughs> Bible said, but this man heard that Jesus was coming, but there was strength, a lot of people that he could not see Jesus. Who is blocking you from seeing Jesus? If it is a man, please move by your side. Leave that man. If it is a woman, leave by their side. The, he had to leave everybody to go and climb a tree to see Jesus. Are we ready for that personal encounter? Stand up on your feet of God. Two set of people I want to pray with, and I will go. Because of time, you just get ready. Month of August is our month. Two people here. There are people that have been stalked in life. There are people that have been stalked in destiny. There are people that have been stalked spiritually. You want to move forward? You cannot. You want to do something? You cannot. You're always tired. Always being weary. You can do it as you want to do it. If you're such a person, just lift up your hand. I want us to pray. Lift up those hands very well. Please, ushers, shift the chairs back. Come forward, please. If you are such a person, walk to the altar. You know you are being stuck one place. Life and destiny is being stuck. You know, to cry, you can't cry again. To pray, you can't pray again. You know, to be consistent, you cannot. When you want to do good, you end up doing evil. You know that. You know that. But tonight, today, it's a call. I hear the Lord saying that today he is going to restore dignity in your humanity. Where your life will ever not remain the same again. Chip this back. Chip this shirt back. Uh, please. You can come, don't be afraid. Hmm. Who can help me to sing that song? He will do it again. Because there is a God of restoration in the house now. Yeah. <coughs>
That is a God of resurrection in the house now. That is a God of resurrection in the house now. The world will never go back empty handed. He will never go back empty handed. He'll do it again. My God. Just take a look at where you are now and where you've been. He's always come true for you. My God. He's the same now as then. You may, may not know how. You may not know you why. May not you may not know why. how he's going to do it. But he is going to do it right now. Something is going to happen now. My father and my God, as you have spoken today, you may not know how, you may, may not, not know when, but he'll do it again. again. I want every one of you right now, I want you to pray. I'm not going to tell you what to pray. You know where you are struggling. You know what it is. I want you to go to God in prayer right now. Go to God in prayer right now. You know what that is. You know what that struggle is. And I'm going to lay hand on you. I'm going to touch you. And something is going to happen. There's going to be a transformation. There's going to be a, a great change. Something is going to happen now in your life. By the authority of heaven. As you have spoken. Because the word of God can never return back to him void. The word of God remains the same. He is the God of yesterday. The God of today. And he is the God forever. Open your mouth and pray. What area do you expect in God? What is those things in your life? What are those things in your life? What are those things? Every what area have you been stuck in life? Spiritually? Physically? Otherwise? Financially? What area? What area? What area? What are those strongholds? What are those strongholds? Nothing. There is nothing. Nothing that God cannot do. Nothing that God cannot do. I know it. I know it. He has done it for me. He will do it for you. He has done it for others. He will do it for you. He will do it for you. Those giants that are standing before you. The Lord said to tell you that those giants shall be no more. If only you can stand on what you have declared. Pray. 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 Speak to the Lord. 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 Kalaba shakala balige da bagada, lusu tapate yeleke pundo rubia nagada, limbre de zunge de ninga bagada ninge de lege de ningre de ninga da nama. My God and my Father, today, oh, let this oil, let this oil, let this fire, be a power to prevail against every impossible in their life and in their destiny, that their life will never remain the same anymore. Will never remain the same anymore. Holy Ghost, today we decree and we declare that you will do what only you can do. That is, show your power. Show your power. Show your power. Show your power. Can you give me a little volume, please? Show your power. Show your power in their life. Receive it. Power. Receive it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Anything, 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 anything holding you. Power, lose him, let him go. In the name of Jesus, I release it upon you. Hey, Kalaba Shakal in the little book. Lee Kaba. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every assignment of the enemy over your life. I declare that declare that the strength of the Almighty will rest upon you. Let the Lord of God, let heaven honor your word in his life. In the name of Jesus, be strong. That's it. Then he will do it. He has a track record of keeping his word. It's not about to stop doing it now. There is nothing he cannot do. 
Every area in life you have been stuck. Be free now. 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 Luda, let that go. I said, Luda, 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 Luda. Power. Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's no mountain you cannot move. If he has said it, then he will do it. He has a track. Power! Loose! Your word, and you're not about to stop. Power! Lose him, let him go. Lose him, let him go. Lose him, let him go. Every assignment of the enemy over your life, I command it to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. Receive it. You are mighty. Aha. You are mighty. You are mighty. There is nothing. Hey, Jesus. Ayakata lava lava la kataya lava la kata. Every area you have been stuck. Be free, be free, be free. Be free, be free. Be free, be free, be free. Be free, be free. It is time, it is time. Go manifest, go manifest, go manifest. Every power. Be by count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Power, loser. Loser, I go, loser. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke all around every by own, you are mighty. I come against every feeling. All around by I come against own, every spirit of indecision that there have been tormenting this life. You cannot Today the Lord will rebuke you. Every There's stagnation. No be broken. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. Then you will it. do he Heba, has Heba. a track record Heba. of keeping your word. Oh yeah, 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 you are let the plan and purpose of God in your life come there to pass. That is nothing. If I can't of seven, let it rest upon you. One, two, there three, is no four, five, six, seven. Move. If he has said it, then he will do it. He has let the power of God, God of keeping your word. The grace to move. He's not about to stop doing it now. All around by all, if I count of seven, all around by two, you are my three, four, all around five, six, seven. That is my all around. Whatever the have refused to move in your life today, I command them to bow. Holy Ghost. Do what only you can do. You in the name of Jesus. If he has said the grace, it, then he will move forward. Do grace to ascend. He grace has to track answer the call. In the great dimension. Word, and grace to serve. 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 Grace to upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. I declare a ready mind in the name of Jesus. I release the power of God upon you. All around by you will no more be stagnant. You will no more be stuck. Your family will no more be stuck. You will no more be stuck. One place. Time to move forward. Time to take it. Take what belongs to you. Holy Ghost. The power of God. Break every shell. Break every shell. Break every shell. Break every shell. 
break every chain. 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 Bring her in the place of understanding. Bring her in the place of order. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare, Lord, I declare, let the power of God. You are mighty. There Holy is God. nothing. Let the spirit of the living God touch you now. Touch you now. In the name There's of Jesus. No mountain I don't need the fire of God. Move. Emptiness be filled. If he has be filled up. 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 He has a track I said be filled up. In the name of Jesus. Word. In the name of Jesus. You're not Thank about you. to stop doing Thank it Lord. now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. My God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it from today. Wherever you are locked down, wherever your destiny has been locked down, by the word of any man or any woman, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every word shall be spoken in your foundation. No body in the name of Jesus, I command it right now to be broken. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. Go. You're not about to stop doing it now. In the name of Jesus, be free. All around be free. by oh, you are mighty. Oh. All around by oh, you are mighty. Oh. All around by oh, you are mighty. Oh. All around by oh, you are mighty. If I can't tell someone, one, two, there three, four, five, six, seven. There's no bondage you cannot break. If he has said it, then you will do it. Amen. Stand up you on your feet, everybody, try. please. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 62. Take this word. Isaiah 62. Give me verse 8. Isaiah 62, give me verse 8. Uh, give me 10. Somebody lift up your two hands. This week, in life, in destiny, spiritually, physically, financially, in all ratification, I decree, I declare, go through. Say for me to say amen for you. Stay there. Just stay there. Just keep on waiting. I say go through. 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 Listen. On Friday we prayed this prayer, right? It was a declaration on the uh, on our night prayer. Yesterday, son, start today. A lady, I will, if you want me to play the voice, man, please. She said, Apostle, you are so dangerous. I said, what, man? He said, you said, go through. Yesterday, Sunday, I got a call. And the call that I got was exactly the same work I was doing in Trinidad here that was paying me like 20-something thousand every month is the work that I got in the state. So, Apostle, look at it. It will be double time. He said, when I get my paycheck, I, will, I said, don't use when. <laughs> I don't like promise now. <laughs> don't use when. God bless you for that job. 
and I have stand upon the word of God today. And I say, go through. I say, go through. Go through. Go through the gates. Every gate that are closed against you. Every gate that are closed against your family. Every gate that are closed against your children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, I decree you and your family go through the gate of favor. Go through the gate of favor. The gate of lifting. The gate of healing. The gate of prosperity. I decree and I declare the gate that closed against you is now open. I say it is 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 open. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Can you comfortably have your seat? Before we take our offering, please forgive me. I want to do this very fast. Brother Elias, come. Don't waste my time. Before I left, the Lord had put something in my mind to do before I left. And I said, no, I am not going to do that. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to wait until I hear the Lord speak more to me. And you know, every service I mark up. I is a mark man, eh? I is what? Mako man. What did I say is a Mako man? I know who come when they come. I know who come late. I know who come inside the church. When church is started, they go out to go and answer their call. I don't take them. I don't take them short. I don't take them. I don't capture them. And I don't send it for them. I say, look at you. Service is going on. You running away from church. So I is a real Mako man. Eh? I know who come when you come. But to tell you something, this spiritual young man has been faithful. Yeah. He has been faithful. Not just only when I was here. When I was here, it, I might look at it as an eye service because I was here, but I don't think it was eye service. That's okay. Let me just hold on. When, what, when I'm not here, that, that is when I will know whether it's an eye service or not what? Eye service. But that, this man has proven himself not to be an eye service. Do you know, point 14 is not an easy run, no? He run point 14 every Sunday. There is no service he's not here. Wednesday or Sunday. <clears throat> so by the mercies of the Lord and by the grace of God upon my life, I want you to know this. You will be ordained as a deacon today. <clears throat> Just to work and help in the work of the ministry. Where it will give me more time to be in the place to study. Why you will always help to do some work. Babu say, bring seven more people among you that you know is honest. That they might help to do what? To do the work. Why we are committed to prayer. So thank God for your life. One thing I tell you is this, sir. If you have any secret life, tell me. Provide it. If I cash you, I'll bring you out here and I will remove the deacon. Everybody support me. I don't play, please. I'm not. Any secret life, I don't know. Cut you outside. I'll bring you out here to do what? You give me bank certificate. This is how I talk my own. If any one of you have to get angry and get vexed because I do it, it is your business. Let God hold me responsible, not you. Let God do what? Hold me, not you. 
And if you get angry, you get cursed. If you get angry, you will carry a curse on you. You are not to be found in the place of gossip. Not to be found in a bar or drinking. I'm saying it now. Please, this is just me. Not to be found in a bar of drinking or drinking wine. Not to be found where you're running woman. I'm playing right now. I don't want to play games. Are you hearing me? Not to be found in a place where any gossip in the church, your name is being, a, is being mentioned. Or siding others and not siding others. You are here to work for everyone. To work for the glory and the honor. I thank God you have been working hard, but I pray that the grace of God will be upon you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Grace of God will be what? Will be upon you. One thing I love is the readiness of your heart to work. If there is anything I don't know, I'm not God. Eh? If there is anything you know I don't know, just talk, talk, talk to me. We will talk and sit down. And I will counsel you how to work on it. And I know God will help you. Shall we all stand up on our feet, everybody? You know, I don't do much, no protocol. Eh? Needle, it's a needle. Father Lord, I thank you for this son that you have raised with a willing heart to serve. And again, no lying. What did I say? No lying. No lying. I, if I call you, if you if you are in Arema, tell me you are in Arema. Don't tell me you are in um, Dabadi. No lying. And do you know one thing? I will tell you this. This man is older than me. Eh? I have rebuked him three good times. Do you know what he told me? He said, Apostle, if that is what I have to do and I didn't do it, you are right. I'm telling you. I thought it would get angry. because you know, you know I know how to test people sometimes. I will step on their toes. But not that I mean what I'm saying, but just to see your reaction. But you never reacted bad. You have reacted good. So I pray that God will give you the grace. I pray that the same grace that was upon Joshua to lead will be upon you. The same grace that was upon Jesus to carry the cross will be upon you to carry this cross. The same grace that was upon me to carry this cross will be upon your life. So today, I ordain you in the name of the Father. I ordain you in the name of the Son. And I ordain you in the name of the Holy Spirit. You will not disappoint this commission. You will not disappoint this church. You will not disappoint the members of this church. You will not disappoint God. And you will not disappoint your generation. May the Lord be with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So from today, it's no more brother Ellis. It has been Deacon what? Ellis. May the Lord bless you. Can we get any photographer here? Ah, it says here, may the Lord bless you today. So somebody that can do it with a picture or a phone, please just give me. Nice phone, no. Don't do it with me too. Nice phone, no. Nice phone. Not with me too, eh? Not with me too. You make sure your phone is not me too. Alright. Just Right. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Put your hands together for Jesus, everybody. You get it? You get it? Yeah, all right, no problem. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I take offering? All right, let's just lift up our offering. Let us lift up an offering. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. 
Jesus, you are wonderful to me. Everywhere I look, your blessings overflow. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are wonderful to me. Everywhere I look, your blessings overflow. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are Jesus, you are wonderful to me. I say, everywhere, everywhere I, I look, go. your blessings overflow. I say, Jesus, you are my own. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are wonderful to me. Everywhere I look, your blessings overflow. Jesus, you are my own. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are wonderful to me. Everywhere I look, your blessings overflow. Jesus, you are my own. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are wonderful to me. Everywhere I look, your blessings overflow. Jesus, Amen. Jesus, Amen. Amen. He said, God has done good well, and he will do you well. Just lift up your two hands. Father, we thank you for what you have blessed us with. You have been a faithful father. Thank you for being faithful to us. Lord, with this appreciation of what you have given to us, we have given. Lord, bless us. Make a way for us. Wherever enemy have closed our door, open our doors. Let this week be a week to go through. Let this week be a week to go through all the gates that have closed. Those go gates of appointment, gate of employment, gate of healing, financial breakthrough, gate of favor. Lord, we decree that those gates are open in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that the gate of righteousness and holiness will open for the church. We pray that gate for men and women that is ready, that their heart is ready, will open for the church. Lord, we ask, and we know that whatsoever we have asked in your name that you are able to do. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let everybody say, Amen. Amen. You may comfortably have your seat. We're going, eh? Back to school? Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I said no, no. <clears throat> uh-huh. Okay, just thank the whole people that contributed for the back to school. Wow. Put your hands together for Jesus, for everybody. So everything we needed, you need is, we got it? Wow, wow. We said all we needed, God have provided. Put your hands together for Jesus. So our children are going back to school. All we needed, God have provided it. Amen. Now, next week Sunday, Saturday, is the beginning of our night year anniversary, which we are starting with what? Praise and worship. At 4 p.m., invite your friends. When you come in, wear flash shoe. Eh? Don't wear no high heel. Eh? Wear what? Flash shoe. What happened again? Eh? Today? No, I didn't know that. I can't do that. I didn't know that. It was, I was, it was not known. People should know that. They didn't tell me nothing about it. <coughs> Mm -mm. I bring the child. Where's the child? Where's the child? Bring the child. <coughs> oh, wow. Put your hands together for this wonderful woman of God. <coughs> Amen. Amen.
this is taking the bull by the what? By the horn. That's what you, you guys just did now. Is that protocols, right? To do that. So, you, is there any certificate here for that? So, the protocol was not fully followed, right? So, there must be protocols, but let me jump it because it's God's grace, right? You have the grace. No, you are in the house of grace, so the grace will be. Wow, such a pretty darling. So, you will not be telling me her name because I don't know her name, right? I bring her. Amen. Just stand up on your feet, everybody. Father, we thank you for our daughter. Give me some 91. Thank you because you are God. And beside you, there is no any other God. Thank you for the opportunity you have given to us to see this generation. I call her generation. Thank you for opportunity to see these nations. Thank you for an opportunity to witness today. And Lord, I ask that everything that has been preached today, that this daughter of Zion will be a partaker of it. Lord, I ask that from the foundation of his father, I destroy now. Connection, I destroy now. I reconnect her right now in the name of the father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I reestablish a foundation for her. And I establish her in the foundation of the blood of Jesus. The foundation that speaketh better. The foundation that speaks freedom. Speak liberty. Foundation that does not speak generational curse. Foundation that does not speak guilt. But foundation that speaks joy and peace. Father, so I thank you. As your son Jesus was presented in the world today, I present her name. What? Jenny. Uh -huh. The name. I presented Jenny Bedo before the Lord Almighty and I pray that today you have been accepted in the Lord in the house of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that no weapon that form against you shall ever prosper. The hand of the Lord shall be upon you mightily. You are going out and your coming in shall be a blessing, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91, from verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Jenny Bado, you will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And the Lord shall cover you. You shall say of the Lord, the Lord is your refuge. You shall say of the Lord, the Lord is your fortress. You shall say of the Lord that in Lord I trust. From today, your trust will be in the Lord. As you grow, your trust will be in the Lord. Your trust will not be in the government. Your trust will not be in a man. Your trust will be in the Lord. Next verse. Surely the Lord will deliver you from the snail of the flowers. And from the nuzzlet of the placing, uh -huh, he shall cover thee with his feather. The Lord will cover you with his feather. Under the wings of the Lord you shall trust. His truth shall be thy sheet and buckler. I pray that the generation we are in will not influence you. But the truth of the word of God will influence you. Whatever from your father will not influence you. Whatever from your mother will not influence you. I decree and I declare that the true word of God will be your buckler. True word of God will be your shield. In the name of Jesus. Next verse. Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by the night or the arrow that flyeth by the day. Uh -huh. None for the placeless that walketh in the darkness. None for the destruction that wasted at the noon. Next verse. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at the right hand side. But it shall not come near you. When evil are in the front, you will be at the back. When evil is at the back, you will be at the front. When the enemy 
will surround you. I decree, the Lord will make a way for you. I said, the Lord will make a way for you. You will be a child with destiny. You will be a child that will live by example. I decree and I declare, let that be a sign that the Lord have honored this dedication. In the name of Jesus. Next verse. With, with, only with your eyes, you shall behold and see the reward of the enemy. From today, any man or woman that call himself your enemy, with your eyes, you will see their reward. I say you will see their reward. I say you will see their reward. Give me Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. That's my comment. Yes. Now, from today I decree, the Lord who have given us this covenant, and the Lord who have never failed us, and he said, there shall not be any man be able to stand before you, Jenny Bado, all the days of your life, as God was with Moses, as God was with Moses, as God was with Jesus, as God was with Kenneth, so shall God be with you. So shall God be with you. So shall God be with you. I decree and I declare you will do greater than me. I say you will do greater than me. I say you will do greater than me. As this happened in sudden, from today, sudden miracle will be locating you. Amen. Sudden blessing will be locating you. Amen. Sudden anointing will be locating you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all because I know it is God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh yeah? Where's the God mother, God father, woman? Oh yeah, God mother, God father, yeah, all of you come now. This side, if I ain't getting no good response, you have to use money to come and get it back. Somebody get a number for me, please. Get a number for me. Number and address. No, no playing now, you know. Number and address. So you are not I know where to find me. So no, they are all there. You agree with me that you will help me and help everyone of us to bring this daughter of Zion in the way of the Lord. To bring the heart to the church. Amen. Maloka. This one is not after we are not seeing you again. It's after we are not seeing you again. Number, home address. What is this? That's what we normally do. Don't know what God. This is a baby. We need to open our hands for her. Yeah? We need to open our hands for her. So just put your hand in your pocket. Just lift it up. As God bless you, as God bless you, please let's bless our daughter. As God bless you. You're looking for the fruit of the womb, do more. You're looking to get married, do whatever you believe in God. The same God that made this baby to come into this world, the same God is available. The same God will make it happen. No more give me that oil and let me anoint for you. Not only once, when you pray, the baby is now, 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 now. I want to anoint one now that I put oil, you're removing my hand. I say this one. Anoint in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can never run with another. You can't run from it. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. So we can go now, right? Everybody stand up on your feet. Please, thank you for your patience. I know we took um, like 35 minutes of your time. On Sunday is our what? You were saying this as if you are not happy. Sunday is what? Sunday is what? Please. The Saturday is praise and worship. We know those ones. We make sure you wear flash shoes. No high heels. Because if you break your leg, you must come to church on Sunday. Good. On Sunday, on Sunday is what we call what? Thanksgiving. Right? Take offering. What they call it? Envelope. Whatever you put it, put it for my Thanksgiving. Not that day. Thanksgiving, you're looking for one, one dollar. I don't even know where you bring it from. You want to squeeze it and know. I didn't say, at least well, it's, not, it's not about money. Whatever, whether it's one dollar, whatever it is, put it inside the envelope. Right? God, this is for my Thanksgiving to you. We don't, it's not all about money, but it's just for you to do what? Honor. God. So please, before you leave, take an envelope, you know, make sure whatever it is, stop squeezing it. We have people counting that money. Before they can be able to stretch it and stretch it, they're sweating. You know. so try, try and leave it so that put it in the envelope and say, God, this is for my word. Thanksgiving. Many of us, do you know how many, many of you that have COVID this year and they succeed? Last year, you survive it. A lot of people died, but you survive it. It is enough. You go to work every day. Do you know how many people have been getting strange bullets? Not, not because you're too righteous, you know, but God loves you. Eh? I'm telling you, you drive. Many of us here, you stay with car. Every day, four or five accidents. But the road you pass, somebody might not pass it. The grace of God upon your life. Please honor God with that grace. Hallelujah. And also remind your friends and your family for Saturday and Sunday. Lift up your two hands. Father Lord, as we go, let your grace go with us. Let your power go with us. Lord, we pray for everyone that you have been using financially to leave this church. Even the ones that have. And the ones even that have the mind, but they don't have. Lord, I pray, let doors open for them. Doors of favor open for them. Lord, make a way for them when see to be no way. Lord, let there be an increase in whatever they are doing. Increase. I speak promotion. I speak promotion. I speak increase in their life, spiritually, financially, and otherwise, in the name of Jesus. I pray that the eyes of their understanding will open where they will see Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Please.